Hey everybody, thanks for joining for a quick tip version of Sam's device advice. Today we're going to be talking about uh, version history or revision history in Google Drive. So what that is, is it's a really convenient way to check the history of a document. This works in Google Docs or Sheets or Slides. And it's really handy if you are using a shared document and you're not sure what changes have been made when or even if your own document, if you've made some mistakes and you wanna go back to a previous version, you can do that really easily in Google Docs. So let's take a peek at my desktop here. So I have an example document that I've uh, created for this video. It's not that I'm a crazy person who just types things over and over again. Um, but let's say this is something that I've been collaborating with a, a workmate on, and I want to kind of see the progress that we've made from the beginning, and I also wanna see who's been working on what when. What I'll do is I'm gonna take my mouse up to the top and beside the help button, you're gonna see a message. It might say all changes saved. It might say last edit was made this many minutes ago. It might say see new changes. Whatever this says, if you click on that message, it's gonna bring you to Google's version history. So what this does is it gives you a list of all the changes that were made to this document since it was created. Uh, today is March 3rd, so I, or March 11th, sorry, so I created this today. And you can see that I um, have made changes from uh, 1015 all the way up to 1027. And in this window, it's going to show me what was made during that version. And it's kind of nice because it actually color codes who was working on what and when. So if I go down to this version down here, you can see that the purple text was written by Sam Goving, the green text was written by the sample student. So for teachers, this is actually a really handy way if uh, you have students collaborating on work, you can see who did what work, and you can see if one student was carrying the group based uh, on this. Um, but what's kind of nice, so let's say I have my the version that's, uh, that I'm currently working on, but I realize that I made some mistakes and I wanna go back. All I have to do is click on a previous version, and click restore this version. And what it does is that it essentially saves over top of my new version with that one. But fear not because let's say you made a mistake and you wanna get back to it. Uh, once this uh, gets out of my way here, um, you can also go into, oh, there we go, it's out of the way. Um, now I can click on this again and I can still revert to the, uh, like my most recent version Essentially, there, it never deletes it completely. You can always get back to uh, another one of the past. So if you've made some mistakes or you just wanna start uh, from scratch, um, then you can always do that. Uh, Google also gives you the option to name some versions. So let's say you've hit a checkpoint or you've uh, reached a milestone for this. So let's call this one, oops, checkpoint two. Um, so let's say I've worked on this long enough. I feel like this is a, a good rough draft for me. Um, and you can see I've named this one down here, checkpoint one. If I click on this button where it says only show named versions, it's gonna strip away all of the other versions that I don't have named and then show me the current one as well. Because if this is something that you've been working on for a year, if it's a running document, you might have hundreds of different versions of this. So by naming specific ones and then uh, clicking this to only show named versions, um, it's, it's really handy to have. And as always, you could restore to the version if you want, or if you just wanna go back, click on the back button. And just as an example of one that might have a few more edits, this was a, a, a document that uh, my teaching partner and I at Fanshawe were just kind of outlining our digital liter literacy class. So again, I'll click on that uh, message that's there, and you can see I have quite a few different versions of this, and each version has a lot of edits, and you can see who is doing more work for this. So I think Sen and I were actually fairly even when it was in this document. So it's a really, really handy tool to have is your revision history. So all you have to do, find your help button and the message right to the right of it is gonna be what you'll use. And that's gonna let you uh, just kind of go back in time and you never have to worry about losing a document um, or um, no changes are forever essentially. It's a nice life lesson. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any questions, send me an email, sam at samgoving.com. Otherwise, have a great day. Cheers.